I'm Gina with Design Environments, and today we're going to show you slat wall and furry strip installation. With me today, I have Tom Forbert with Forbert Construction. Before we get started, we want to tell everybody to make sure that you review your specific store handbook and your specific wall elevations. Every location is different depending on the location of your store. Next, Tom is checking the ceiling height around the room. He's looking for the lowest elevation, so all of the slat wall panels will remain on the same plane. The first thing that Tom is doing is he's finding all the studs placed in our wall. It's important to know that slat wall is screwed directly into the studs of the wall. There is nothing in between. As Tom prepares our walls, he's marking the studs, which are 16 inches apart on center. Some commercial spaces are two foot. You can use a chalk line or a laser leveler to make sure that your slat wall panels are level across your walls. To offer a visual, Tom's marked with his tape measure the eight feet where our slat wall is going to be installed. The panels are gonna be installed with a cordless drill with a screw tip extension. And the screws that we're using for the installation are number six or number seven, two inch screws. This is important because one inch will go through the slat wall and the other will go directly into the stud. Right now, Tom is marking our slat wall panels. That one screw is installed for every other panel going vertically up. This will be repeated in every stud on the wall. To help our installation, Tom pre-cut two prop boards that are level with the bottom line marker. This will keep the panels in place as he screws them into the studs. Next, Tom's taking the second slat wall panel and he's gonna stack it on top of the bottom one. And now we're on part two of our slat wall and furry strip installation video. Right now, Tom is measuring the bottom of our slat wall for our furring strips. It's important that the furring strips are flush with the bottom of the slat wall. Here, Tommy used a 60-inch streeter to measure the difference for our furring strips. finishes securing our furring strips, it's noted that a two and a half or three inch screw is recommended. This will give your furring strip more security and fastening power into the stud. So there you have it, part one and two of our installation videos. Today we are going to put up some metal and our furring strips. Be sure to check out more of our videos at YouTube slash Design Environments.